a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. As the world's population ages, more people are caring for sick or disabled loved ones. But who cares for the caregivers? Juliet Watt has had her own experiences with compassion fatigue, a condition in which long-term caregivers become debilitated by the process of looking after others. In today's episode, she draws on the research of Dr. Charles Figley to suggest strategies for managing this burnout. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you exhausted? Are you anxious for all the wrong reasons? Do you suddenly burst into tears for absolutely no reason? Do I sound like a TV commercial for an antidepressant? (laughs) Well, I'm not. This is what happens when giving is no longer living. I mean, have you been asking yourself, what is the matter with me? Why do I feel so awful? I have a great life. I have a fabulous job. I'm very, very, very busy. I have tons of friends. My family is awesome. Why do I keep complaining? Well, I want you to complain louder. All these feelings are totally okay. And I can promise you, you are not alone. In fact, If you are taking care of someone, it's actually quite normal. These feelings are the cost of caring for others, the cost of losing yourself in who you're being for everyone else. And these feelings have a name, compassion fatigue. Yes, it's very real, and no, it isn't when you're tired of being nice. (laughs) Compassion fatigue is a dark, insidious syndrome that creeps up on you. You don't know what it is, you don't know you have it, you just know something is very wrong and you don't feel like you anymore. Now, Dr. Figley defines compassion fatigue as the emotional and physical burden created by caring for others in distress. It can also be known as secondary vicarious stress disorder, which is comparable to PTSD. Now, back then, Dr. Figley was primarily referring to ER nurses, firefighters, EMS workers, pretty much everyone in the professional business of caring. So as I was digging deeper into my research, I started to realize that a lot of these symptoms was really starting to feel uncomfortably familiar. Symptom number one, irritated and frustrated most of the time. Check. Symptom number two, feeling absolutely worthless and terribly sad. Check. Symptom number three, isolating yourself and disconnecting from everyone around you, including your own family. Nothing makes sense anymore. Double check. But but, but hang on, hang on, hang on. This didn't make sense. I'm not an ER nurse. I'm not a firefighter. I don't look after somebody with PTSD, and I don't deal with trauma every day. So remember Dr. Figley? Well, I called him. And that's when the light bulb went off. We are all potentially vulnerable to compassion fatigue. You don't have to be in the professional business of caring. You just have to be caring. So let me ask you, are you looking after an elderly parent, spouse, loved one in your home, and it's taken over your life? Their needs come first. Their survival is more important than yours. You can't afford to put them in a nursing home, and you can't afford in-home care. You're the one administering medical attention without any medical training whatsoever. You're the one cooking, cleaning, carrying, and potentially, possibly, 
dealing with a very serious mental illness like Alzheimer's, you're the one because their life is in your hands. Now, does any of this sound familiar? Let me just offer you this question. Ask yourself, what is the most important thing in your life? You're going to say your children, your family, maybe your career so you can provide for your family, and all of that is the wrong answer. What if I told you the right answer was, I am the most important thing in my life, me. X. Ha! Can you just imagine saying that? The judgment, the astonishment, the amazement of people at your selfishness. Oh gosh, people might not like you anymore. But here's why it's critical. If you can't take care of your own happiness first, how on earth can you take care of anyone else's? Be brave. Put yourself first. Take care of this person first. I would have said, go and live that dream. No one's going to do it for you. And quite frankly, no one will really care if you don't. So now I would like to invite you to just take a moment and refill your cup. Maybe start with something small, a moment of peace. What's yours? And I would like to leave you with this. Compassion fatigue is so very, very real, but it is not hopeless. And most of all, you are not alone. Juliet Watt has done everything from being an airplane pilot to a Playboy bunny to writing for soap operas and performing for theater. She now lectures on the subject of compassion fatigue. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Fargo, North Dakota. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Fargo. Visit TED.com slash TEDx Shorts to listen to the full talk and learn more about TEDx Shorts. I'm Matosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.